Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Sporkle Saturday. I am yours truly, Pat Dooley. I am an announcer, I am a commentator, I am a play-by-play, -play, ring announcer, creative, uh, interviewer, uh, kind of a, anything in wrestling that doesn't involve taking bumps. I'm your man. Uh, so I created this channel, I'll talk about this a little bit, but it's been a little while. Uh, I created this channel as a way to kind of get myself out there. I'm uh, about a year into uh, my wrestling journey, uh, started just before I turned 40, so having the weirdest midlife crisis ever, but honestly, this is something I wanted to do since I was 10, so here I am, uh, shooting my shot, <laughs> uh, just kind of putting myself out there, you can find all my contact info, you can find samples of my work here on this YouTube page, uh, and we'll also, you know, flash the, uh, the contact info uh, up on the screen at the end of the episode. Make sure you like and subscribe. That's super helpful. Helps get, uh, you know, helps get the word out. Um, I am based in Middle Tennessee. I am the creative lead and play-by-play -play announcer for FXE Wrestling uh, in Hendersonville. Uh, I'm also the ring announcer for the Southern Wrestling Federation in Tullahoma. Uh, but I am ready, willing, and able to go anywhere to do this because I love it. Uh, so, over the last few weeks, I have been doing these Sporkle Saturdays, where uh, I go to Sporkle.com and I pull up the most popular wrestling-related quizzes uh, on the site. Sporkle is a quiz site, where, which has quizzes about any topic you can possibly think of, including a ton about wrestling. Uh, tonight, today, I'm filming it at night, it's going to come out, I think, at noon. Uh, so, this episode is about the WWE Hall of Fame. Uh, so, unlike some past quizzes, this is not going to be one of those where if I name one, uh, it's going to fill in a bunch of spots. Uh, there are a couple people that have been uh, that have uh, been inducted into the Hall of Fame more than once. Uh, Ric Flair, famously for you know his singles run and uh, as a member of the Four Horsemen. And actually, did Evolution get? I can't remember if he's in it three times or just two. I know Booker T's in it twice, uh, once for himself and once as half of Harlem Heat. Uh, members of the NWO. Anyway, getting ahead of myself, those are all things that are going to come up as I go. Um, but it looks like it's looking for each inductee into the Hall of Fame. Um, 147, starting with the first inductee in 1993. There was only one that year. I remember that um, all the way up to this year, 2023, just, you know, like two months ago, uh, this year's WrestleMania weekend. Um, again, I have said multiple times on the channel there have been a couple periods during this uh 1993 i was i was 11 or sorry i was 10 i turned 11 that year so this is like right at like when i started to get really passionate about wrestling i was a i was a fan from the time i was like seven or eight but like early to mid 90s like the new generation era like that is very much my jam that was my jumping on point uh, I mean, I jumped on during Hulkamania, but I didn't. I didn't really become fanatical about it until like the you know the Bret Hart, Shawn Michaels, Diesel, like the rise of those guys. Um, so the downside to that is that's not going to help me here, because unlike the WrestleMania quiz I did a few weeks ago or the Champions. I can't rely on my own memory of, like, specific periods in history because the Hall of Fame pulls people from all eras. Um, it, you know, it takes uh, guys from the 80s, but it takes guys from the 70s, 60s, 50s. It's got tag teams. It's got stables. It's men. It's women. It, there's a celebrity wing. Um, I don't know if they're counting the Warrior Award, uh, which is something that they came up with a few years ago. Um for it was supposed to be the original goal was it was supposed to be for people who um like work behind the scenes that don't get enough recognition uh but then it turned into something else and then it went back to that either way um that's a, a long-winded way of me saying i am not super confident in me getting all 147 of these if i can get a hundred i feel like i'll do well i've got 17 minutes which feels like it's going to be excruciating <laughs> for me because I bet I'm going to get a whole bunch in like the first five and then be pulling what remains of my hair out uh, for the rest, which hopefully makes for fun viewing for you. Uh, but uh, I think I have dragged my feet long enough on this, uh, and I think it is time to 
play the quiz. Here we go. 1993, the very first inductee is Andre the Giant. I remember that being a big deal because that was the year he passed. Um, okay, so I am just going to go through wrestling history. Or WWE history first. Buddy Rogers, the first world champion. Lost it to Bruno Sammartino. Uh, who didn't get inducted till 2013 because he and Vince had a falling out. Uh, Ivan Koloff. No. Bob Backlund, certainly. Uh, uh, Stan Stasiak. Nope. Superstar Billy Graham. Uh, oh, it also gives me... Ooh, I can do last names. It gives me Billy and Eddie Graham. Awesome. Okay. That might help this along. Um, uh, or maybe not. Maybe I'll just completely brain fart. Uh, Antonio Inoki. Um, Hulk Hogan. The Iron Sheik. Uh, uh, Ultimate Warrior. Randy Savage. I'm just going through like the earliest Ted DiBiase. Um, uh, the Gagnes? Uh, so, okay, so I need to be thinking, 94, they're looking like well in the back. Pat Patterson? The Briscoes? Um, Hart Finkel, I think, didn't get inducted. Okay, 2009. Um, like, who are the guys that were like in Vince's brain trust? Tom Pritchard? Is he in? No? Um, uh, gosh, um, like Luthez. Luthez is not in the WWE Hall of Fame. Uh, all right. Uh, let's see. Rick Rude. Uh, Demolition. Demolition isn't in. Uh, Road Warriors, I'm pretty sure are. I'm just trying to think of like. Uh, okay, Bret Hart is in, Jimmy Hart, Stu Hart, it gives me all the hearts. Uh, of course, Owen's not in, that's a whole thing with their family. Jim Knight Hart, is he in separately? No, he's not in at all. Brian Pillman? I can't imagine Melanie would have signed off on that. Uh, Davy Boy Smith? Okay. Um, uh, I know Rey Mysterio went in this year, didn't he? Okay. Uh, also this year, Stacey Keebler... Uh, uh, who else went in? Tim White. Uh, oh, that also gives, that gives me Tony Atlas. That's Tony Atlas. Why does White give me Tony Atlas? Um, gosh, who else went in this year? I'm trying to think of... Jeez. Oh, uh, this is already embarrassing. We're, what, three minutes in, and I've only got 25 of 147. Uh, okay, I'm going to go back to my original plan of just, like, doing... Starting with the people that were big, like, when I first became a fan. Big Boss Man. One Man Gang? Uh, Roddy Piper. Paul Orndorff? Bob Orton? Uh, for some reason, I'm filling in 2005. Oh, because 2005 is the 20 year anniversary of WrestleMania. Uh, so it makes sense that there's a bunch of uh, guys from the first Mania on there. Nikolai Volkov. Yeah, there it is. Uh, wow, so I got one of them. <laughs> one whole year. Uh, okay. Um, there's bound to be at least one McMahon. Yeah, Vincent J. Um. Jack Tunney? No. Tony Garea? Uh, Jacques Rougeau? Shawn Michaels, I know. Sonny. I'm trying to think. I was at Mania 27, which was in 2011. I'm trying to remember who all was on that stage, but I... Uh, Sergeant Slaughter, was he that year? No, he was earlier than that. Earlier than I thought. Um... Uh, who else? Who else? Uh, okay, going back to... Jim Duggan was big when I was a kid. Haku? No. Bobby Heenan? Mean Gene Okerlund? Gorilla Monsoon? Uh, um, 
Jim Cornette? No. The Midnight Express. Rock and Kid Rock got in. Rock and Roll Express. Mr. T I know is in. Uh, Drew Carey is in. Snoop Dogg is in. Um, former U.S. President Donald Trump was elected. Bob back. Uh, Bob uh, Barker go in. I feel like he did. No. Cindy Walker is a celebrity, no? Wendy Richter. Fabulous Moolah. May Young. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I'm getting some momentum. I had Stacey Keebler. I'm pretty sure Tori Wilson went in a couple years ago. Sable, no. Uh, she and Vince don't get along. Trish Stratus. Um, Lita. Molly Holly. Uh, Victoria in the Hall of Fame? She should be. Um, Melinda Blaze? Oma Khan? No. no. Aja Kong? No. King Kong Bundy? Now we're jumping back to the men's division. Um, uh, geez. Um, <sighs> Bam Bam Bigelow. Back to guys from my era. Honky Tonk Man. Uh, um, who do I have Hasbro figures of? <laughs> Jimmy Snooka. Earthquake. Ooh, excuse me. The NWO I know is in. Hall, Nash are in it as individuals. Horseman. Ric Flair. Arne Anderson in on his own? If he's not, he should be. Uh, Barry Windham is just in as one of the horsemen. Booker T is in as an individual and is one half of problem. He already mentioned that. Uh, okay, we're getting there. We're, we got a long way to go. We're not going to get there, but I'm starting to make a little bit of progress here. Nine and a half minutes to go. I still need 91 Okay, um, back to childhood. Uh, Godfather, of course he was. Dilo Brown? Ron Simmons, JBL, Jim Ross, Jerry Lawler. Yokozuna? Lex Luger? No. Um, uh, did I already guess Undertaker? I, apparently I did not. Kane? Huh. Triple H, no. Are there New Age Outlaws in as a duo? No. Really gun in at all? No. Um, jeez. Gold dust? Oh, no, Dusty is, though. Who else? Dusty's another one of those guys that I had the Hasbro figure of. Uh, is adorable Adrian Adonis on there? Uh, nope, but I bet Gorgeous George is. George the Animal Steel. Um, Tatanka. No, it seemed like one of those random dudes that would have gone in for the... Coco Beware is the, you know, the meme. If Coco Beware is in, why isn't X? Uh, Junkyard Dog? Probably Race? I use brown? I already did brown, right? Because I was trying to get D-Lo. Um, Brutus Beefcake? Uh, 
Um, DDP? Sting? Shamrock feels like somebody that should be in there, but isn't. Uh, China? Also somebody who should be, but isn't. Um, I can hear you screaming at your computer, trying to feed me answers, and I'm sorry, I just am not hearing you. Jeez, uh, why am I struggling so hard? I mean, I know I would, but I wasn't expecting it to be this rough. Um, uh, Batista? Ed Guerrero, of course. Um, Rocky Johnson, I'm pretty sure is in it. Is The Rock in The Rock? No. Steve Austin is, though, of course. Uh, um, let's see, what do we got? What do we got here? Uh, okay, so they're sort of alphabetic. No, they're not. Some of the early ones look like they might have been, but no. IRS. Virgil. Um, the Nasty Boys. Valvinus. Mr. Perfect, I'm pretty sure, is. Um... Jericho in? Obviously Benoit's not. Tajiri should be, but he's not. Alright, so let's do ECW guys. Tommy Dreamer, no. Sabu, no. RVD, yes. Sandman, no. The Dudley Boys, the Hardy Boys. Edge, Christian. Foley! I can't believe I forgot him. Um. Oh, jeez. Mark Henry. Elizabeth. Wow, okay. Snub for Miss Elizabeth. Um, uh, let's see. I'm trying to think of like all of the. Did this Lawrence Taylor in the Celebrity Wing? Uh, you know, you know you're toxic when WWE doesn't want you in their Hall of Fame. Sid? I think I may have already guessed. Um, jeez. Angle? Heyman? Lesnar? <sighs> well, I'm, I mean, I'm over half. I'm at like four sevenths of the way through it. Um, uh, geez. Okay. Um, I was at Mania 27. I saw that Hall of Fame class go out on the stage. Shawn Michaels, Hacksaw Jim Duggan, Sonny, The Road Warriors, and Drew Carey. Who were the other three? Ricky Steamboat? 
No, he was. He is in the Hall of Fame, but he, it wasn't him. But I feel like there's somebody from that era, like that type. That type. Oh, great! Muto went in this year. Um, still missing one from this year. I only got one from 2022. Got all of 05 and 13. And 93, obviously. Uh, okay. So, oh, sorry. I somehow bumped my fan into frame. <laughs> I don't know when that happened. Uh, I don't know. Is Fit Finley in? Is Hornswoggle in? Are the Bushwhackers in? Bushwhackers are in. Of course they are. Um, Paul Roma. Hercules. Eminem. The Miz. Uh, I got nothing. Okay, so what did I miss? 59% uh, is what I got. 35 is the average, so still did better than most, but 87 out of 147 is just not. Okay, so we're gonna st I'm going to start this year and work my way back. Andy Kaufman, of course. Vader, Charmel, and the Steiners last year. I mean, I probably wouldn't have guessed Charmel, but Vader and the Steiners I should have got. Eric Bischoff I should have got. Kali, the Bella Twins. Jushin Liger I forgot was inducted. It deserves it, but DX. The Heart Foundation. I guess Nightheart as an individual after guessing Brett as an individual. Didn't think to guess the tag team. Goldberg, of course. Jeff Jarrett, Hillbilly Jim. Ivory I should have got. Teddy Long, Beth Phoenix, the Freebirds, Jacqueline, Stan Hansen. These all, you know, make sense. Tatsumi Fujinami, Larry Zbysko, Rikishi, Jake the Snake Roberts, Paul Bearer, and Carlos Colon. The promising newcomer. I should have got all those. Mil Mascaras. I didn't remember going in. Bob Armstrong, Abdullah the Butcher, and Paul Ellering were the other three. I remember Ellering. I don't remember Bullet Bob or Abdullah the Butcher in 2011. Mad Dog Bashan, the Von Erics, the Funks, Bill Watts, Gordon Soley, Peter Maivia, Nick Bockwinkle, Mr. Fuji, the Sheik, the Wild Samoans, Sherry, the Blackjacks, Big John Stud, Don Morocco, Greg the Hammer Fountain. These are all, especially this era right here, is these are all, of course... Big John Studd, Don Morocco, Greg Valentine, Jesse Ventura, Tito Santana, Baron... Mc uh, I never saw any of uh, Baron Michael Scicluna's stuff, so I can't say for sure. Lou Albano, the Valiant Brothers, Johnny Rods, still training these to this day. Killer Kowalski, Antonino Rocca, Ernie Ladd, Ivan Putzky, Pedro Morales, the first Triple Crown winner in WWF history, the Grand Wizard... Arnold Skoland, Bobo Brazil, Chief J. Strongbow, Classy Freddy Blassie. Yeah, almost all of those are like, yeah, of course they're in the Hall of Fame. I just did not think of them. So, 87 out of 147. Easily my worst performance on one of these quizzes so far. But I kind of knew, I kind of knew coming into this one that this was not going to be my bag. Uh, and uh, clearly I was right. Uh, so, I guess all that's left is to plug stuff. Uh, go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done that. It does help. Um, I am The whole reason I created this channel is I'm trying to get my name out there, trying to get my face out there, trying to get my voice out there. Uh, I am an announcer of both ring and commentary. Uh, I can do interviews. I can help with creative. Uh, I'm the creative lead uh, and the play-by-play -play announcer and sort of the unofficial interview trainer. 
for FXE Wrestling in Hendersonville, Tennessee. I am the ring announcer for the Southern Wrestling Federation in Tullahoma, Tennessee. Uh, I am based in Tennessee, but I'm happy to go anywhere. Um, I've got, you know, I've got friends and family all over the country, so i got couches to crash on, uh, and in many countries abroad. Uh, my passport, I think, by the time this episode comes out, should be in order. Uh, so, you know, if you want me to you want to fly me out to a show in Slovakia, I've got a, an exchange student that we hosted a few years ago who I'm sure would be happy to uh, let my wife and I crash at her place for a couple of days. Uh, aside from that, thank you guys so much for watching. It does mean a lot to me. Uh, I know, uh, you know, my audience is small but mighty, uh, and, uh, you know, hopefully one day we'll be able to grow it and uh, we, can all, we can all grow together. Uh, I will be back next Saturday for another Sporkle Saturday. Hope you'll join me then. But until next time, take care.